All right, so last but not least, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about flight modes. So a flight mode is basically a feature that is available with the Vortex that allows you to have multiple settings um, basically assigned to a switch. So other flabberless systems do this. Some of them call it uh, bank switching, switching, others call it uh, setups, and Vortex or Spartan calls it um, flight modes. So basically, let's say that you had somebody that um, wanted to fly your helicopter and that person uh, wanted a slower roll rate, for example, or cyclic rate, then you would set up um, uh, flight modes, you would assign it to a switch, and then you would have um, a switch to where your flight mode is your settings, the way you want to fly the helicopter, and when you flick that switch, say, to the middle position, it would change. It would slow down the cyclic or speed it up, or it would uh, um, increase the tail pirouetting speed or change the gain. So you could have multiple setups that you can access just by flicking, just by moving a switch. So anyway, there's two ways to set this up. There's one way which is um, uh, tied into your idle up switch um, on your transmitter. And the reason why you would want to do that is because if you're running the built-in governor um, that's in the Spartan, you want to be able to change your head speeds, um, your RPM, your rotor RPM. So you would set up the flight modes on the, radio, on the Spartan, on the Vortex, and then you would tie those fly motes to your idle up switch on your transmitter. That way, as you flick idle up, you can adjust your head speeds. You can also set up your fly motes to a separate switch, a different switch on your transmitter. Like I, for example, like to run it on switch F right here because it's easily accessible. I can change my, uh, the way my helicopter flies just by moving the switch right here and it's independent from my main flight mode switch on my transmitter so if i'm flying my helicopter say an idle up one at 2000 rpm i can just move this switch um, this would be like say my normal setup this would be my setup with like um, a slower rate and this would be my setup with say a much faster tail or whatever so anyway i'm going to show you how to set this up we go to our data pot right here and then we push s and we go all the way to set up again, and then we go down to transmitter, we push here, and then use flight modes. Um, I was playing with it earlier, so select it yes, so make sure you select yes, and then push here. Then it takes you to the screen um, that we worked with before trimming our radio and stuff. And uh, as you can see here, you have a gyro channel or a gyro setting. It says plus zero, and it shows one right here. That means we're in flight mode one. Spartan calls its flight modes the same way a radio would call them. It calls them N, 1, 2, and H. So um, again, they, that doesn't necessarily mean that N is normal mode or H is hold or 1 is idle up 1. That just is just the way that Spartan calls them. Um, they can be tied up into your radio to work that way to where N is tied up into your normal flight mode on your radio, whereas 2 is tied up into your idle up 2 on your radio. But as I stated before, you can have it assigned to a different switch to where it has absolutely nothing to do with your actual radio flight modes. So that's the part that gets a little bit confusing, but I'll show you how to set it up. It's actually really easy. So. We enabled them here on the data pot, and as you can see here, the gear channel, uh, the gyro channel shows one. That means we're on flight mode one. Now, the gyro channel on our, on my particular Spectrum radio is the gear channel. So, and I don't know if you remember, but before when we actually did the, the receiver setup, we actually told it where each channel goes. And um, I remember seeing gyro as number five. And when I look at my radio, number five on my radio is called gear. So that means my gear channel on my transmitter is affecting the gyro channel on the Spartan. So again, as we see here, we're in flight mode one. So what I'm going to do here, easiest way to do it on this particular radio, and I'm sure you can do this with Futaba or JR or other radios in a similar way, is I'll go to my governor screen. And as you see here, it's inhibited. I'm gonna go ahead and assign it to um, flight mode. So now my governor channel is assigned to my flight mode switch, which is here, and my hold, which is here and actually here, and then I'm going to change my channel from aux2 to gear, because again, gear is what's tied into that gyro channel on the vortex. So, 
Um, as you can see here, it's telling me again that uh, we're in flight mode one. Um, in normal mode, my value is here, and one, my value is here, and two is here, and in hold, actually my hold is up top, is here. So I'm going to start moving this number until I see this one on the vortex on the data pot change to N. And now it's at N. Then I'm going to move to my idle up one and I'm going to change this value here. But it's actually already at one, so we're good there. No need to change. Leave that where it was. Then I'm going to move to two and then I'm going to start moving this value here on the radio until I see this here on the data pot go to two. Two. Done. Then I'm going to move here and I'm going to engage my throttle hold and I'm going to start moving this value on my radio until I see here that this goes to H. There we go. H. So now when I'm in normal mode on my radio, my data pot shows N. When I'm in idle up 1, data pot shows 1. When I'm idle up 2, data pot shows 2. When I'm in throttle hold, data pot shows H. That means for every one of these settings, I have a completely different flight mode on my data pot. So this is ideal when you're running a governor and again, the built-in governor on the Spartan. And again, you want to run a uh, different head speed for every flight mode. But if you're running a governor that's built into a speed controller, say you're flying electric helicopter, you're not messing with the built-in governor that the Spartan has, then there's actually no need to be tying your Spartan Vortex flight modes to your transmitter flight modes. In that case, and this is what I personally do all the time, is instead of selecting flight mode switches, I just select like switch F right here, F. Now my switch F is controlling my flight modes. Because this is only at one, two, three, a three position switch, then I only get three fly modes. I get N, one, and two. I don't get H. No big deal. So let's take a look here. As you can see, I'm in N with the switch up. If I move the switch one down, it goes to one. And if I move the switch all the way down, it goes to two. So now what I have is I have fly modes enabled. They're tied into the F switch on my transmitter. It's independent from my flight modes. So if I'm flying, say, an idle 2 right here at 2200 RPM, I have access to three different flight modes on my Vortex. Flight mode N, flight mode 1, flight mode 2. So now I'm done with that. If I go back up here, say, for example, to my rotor screen, you see my agility setting right here is this N40. Now if I move that switch on the radio, to the middle position, it'll show one, it'll show two. So now I can go here, click on agility, leave it at 40 for N, but change it to, for example, 80 for one, and then change it to like 60 for two. I wouldn't bother with H because again, it's a three position switch, so I don't have access to H in this instance. So now I have if the switch is up, my agility is 40. My switch is in the middle, my agility is 80. My switch is down, my agility is 60. And I can do this with many different settings. Agility, style, gain. I can do that with my tail piro rate. I can do that with my gyro gain for the tail. Um, I can even do that with things like, for example, like my type of gyro, like gyro type, um, heading hold or rate mode. So I can have heading hold in normal mode and I can have like um, rate and one. Um, and say rate in two. So for example, as you can see here, switch up, N is AVCS, switch in the middle, um, now uh, one is uh, rate. So you can have multiple setups for uh, tied up into a switch, and it's actually a really cool feature to have. Um, so you can also go to, for example, let me exit this here, you can go back to, for example, the setup screen right here, and you can go all the way down to, for example, style wizard and you can start loading styles based on flight modes. So for example, I want my style, which is Burke K on N, then I want a 3D on one, and I want actually a newbie on two, because on occasion I'll let a buddy of mine who's kind of a newbie fly my machine. So two, done. So now if we go back to, for example, the rotor screen, you'll see agility is 70, which is Burke K, and then if I move it to the middle, agility is 55, which is for 3D. If I move it down, agility is 40, which is for, um, for beginners. 
So really, really cool stuff with this flight mode feature. So again, no need to use it if you don't want to mess with it, but it's certainly a really good feature to have. So this concludes the entire setup uh, video for the Spartan Vortex flyberless system. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, hope that uh, you get to fly it a lot.